so through my challenge, through my five day challenge that we've just got to day five yesterday and I'm doing a big masterclass tonight, I've been sharing this message over and over again because it's one of the key learnings that I've had in six years of business. I sort of spent the first, I guess, three years just having no clue and like, you know, winging it, I guess. Then I had nearly three years of hustle where I was just like working so hard. And then I nailed my success in three months. And there's these really clear things that clicked for me that enabled me to go from that hustle, which hustle, I mean, you're working all the time. You're using what I call the spaghetti method, which is you pick up a bowl of spaghetti and it's got like, you hoped that it's cooked. You throw the spaghetti at the wall and you hope that one of the strands sticks to show you that you cooked, right? It's like, hey Marie, it's like you don't really have a proven method. You're just trying everything in the hope that something sticks. And it's frustrating. It's the long way to get to success. It burns you out. And I definitely did the hustle spaghetti method and then I found a better way. And it's the better way that I teach now to people so that they don't have to go through that frustration that I went through, financial hardship that I went through to try and have a business that you know is aligned to them and lights them up, you know, doing something that they love every day and impacting people. And so what I've been saying through this challenge all for the last five days, over and over and over, because this is such a huge learning for me, is that it is not what you know, it is not who you know, it is how you show up. Like that is all that your marketing, successful marketing is based on and your business is based on. It is how you show up. And so this is why you are such an important part of my coaching is to have those feelings of confidence. Hello, Kimberly. Um, feeling of confidence and to get away from those limiting beliefs because for a long time I had a limiting belief that I wasn't good enough to do what I'm doing and it really affected how I showed up. It still sometimes affects how I show up. Like I know so much about social media marketing and I'm still pushing myself to really show up and share it with you because I go into that place of oh but maybe you know I don't know enough when I do it's just a story right and we can either hold on to the story or we can get over the story and show up and make a difference to people's lives and right now so many people need us they need what we know they want to um, move forward from where they're stuck and so this is what I've been saying to people in the challenge if you have a product or service that can help someone let me show you how to get more visible and grow your business online and create this marketing funnel that converts easily to clients and so like I say we got to day five yesterday um, and so what is a funnel a funnel is the steps that people go through before you convert them and you see them everywhere. Like they, they're down your Facebook feed, they're on the television, um, they're on Google, you know, it's that free, it's usually a free offer that hooks you in. And then from the free offer, they exchange your email address. So it's like a value exchange. You get value from them. They get value from you in your email address so that they can keep talking to you and upsell you to their premium offer. Or they'll have a few steps along the way. It depends on what their funnel looks like, what their product looks like. But it's usually a free offer that hooks you in and then they have your contact details, you know, and there's so much behind this as well. You can use pixels on your website to retarget your advertising. It, it's, it's, I love it, right? It's, it's, it's epic, but it's actually not as complicated as what people think. And I think people get put off by the idea that creating a funnel is hard. Um, when you've got people like Russell Brunson creating click funnels, that's his product. You know, it's easy, it's all templated for you. But the thing that is more important is to build that relationship first, right? Because you'll notice yourself when you're scrolling down a Facebook feed, there's certain things that make you stop the scroll. You recognize the person, you recognize the name, they have a good headline, they have something that speaks so specifically to your individual needs. A lot of my clients, when they come to me, they don't know, they can't describe their audience. There's two things that they can't describe. They can't describe their audience, they can't describe the result that their product or service creates, that specific 
result. And so that's the first thing that we work on. Um, and so I've been teaching all this in the challenge, right? How to really make that funnel work because you don't want that frustration. You don't want that frustration of putting all this money and time into a marketing funnel if you haven't got the people to easily onboard to the funnel. Um, and so we covered three things in the challenge. And there's a reason why I'm going to share this with you, right? Um, we, uh, blah, 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 blah. Three, three key things that I taught in the challenge. And the reason why I'm going to share with you with them now, them with you now, is because I'm going to make you an offer that you can get hold of them, okay? So you don't even need to have been on my challenge. But if this is talking to you and you want to understand funnels better, you want to create your own, you want to make sure it's successful, like it doesn't matter whether you're a network marketing, a coach, whether you've got an online business, an offline business, it does not matter. A funnel can really support you to grow your your visibility online, grow your audience and convert more income from your social media. To, but I got to help you to become a social media producer in the words of Russell Brunson first. And so there's three ways that I taught you to do this in the challenge. And if you hold on to the end, I'm going to tell you how you can get hold of the, um, I created a workbook to work through this yourself, okay? So number one is you. You are improving you. You are working on those limiting beliefs. You are working on your confidence. You are working on your how you show up, the ability to show up, the motivation to show up. And that comes from really understanding your mission and your message and really knowing clearly what you're showing up for, right? It's like the difference between showing up kind of half-assed because you like, you think you know what you want to talk about, but you're not quite sure and so you're meek and fuck yeah, I know how I want to help these people. Let me at them, Facebook, let me through. Like that energy, it just enables massive action, right? So it's belief, it's belief in yourself, it's connection to your true authentic energy. It is your journey, being able to pull that whole self through and your story and leverage your story. That is my superpower, helping you to leverage that story. So the first thing we talked about in the challenge was you. Number two, the second thing we're taught in the challenge was your connection with your audience. So this is your their understanding and their awareness of your brand identity and brand story and brand message. So I taught you how to really pull that through, some really epic hacks. And number three is that conversion. So once you've got that audience in front of you and you're ready to onboard them, how do you up the chance that they are actually going to click through your funnel and not just going to take your free stuff? Because um, it was funny chat, actually. We were just chatting with a group online and somebody said, you know, it's just giving everything away for free. Isn't that amazing? And in the back of my mind, like my marketing brain is screaming, nobody gives away anything just for free. Like you'd be, you'd be mad to do that, to be honest, because how do you run a successful, sustainable business if you don't have income coming through? There has to be a conversion at some point based on the deep belief that you can help someone. If you, all you need is that deep belief that you can help someone, right? And then there's nothing wrong with charging somebody. And I think that's got a bit skewed through this coronavirus crisis. People have felt unethical selling things. But, you know, what I've realized and seeing my clients is my clients are pretty chilled out right now. You know, they're like, they're pretty happy. They're pretty sweet. They're not worried. And that's because they don't have anything to panic about because they've invested in filling the holes in their buckets. So it's not like they're in the coronavirus with leaky buckets and water leaking out everywhere and their, their ship's sinking. It's like they're floating along pretty happily, right? Because they've already made the investment to fill those holes, make their business sustainable, and have a plan B for when something, not that we could predict something like this, but you know, they're in a good space, right? So you are actually helping people by helping them to plug the holes in their buckets, whether it's their physical health, their mental health, or their business. Molly's here, Nancy's here. Nancy, you were meant to be on the challenge, lovey. <laughs> um, okay, so where am I up to? So yeah, so you, that third part, you improve your conversion by having the right people in front of you. I taught you how to do that in the challenge is to get the right 
people in front of you and get them to trust you, okay? So the trust is huge. So I taught you those three things in the challenge. And like I say, I'm giving away the opportunity to take the workbook from the challenge plus a little video that talks you through how to fill it in that really teaches you what I taught through the challenge. So you get to get the benefit of my five day challenge, which is just finished. Now, just by reaching out to me by messenger. So let me know if that would be helpful for you. If you want to know how to be more visible online, grow your audience with the right people and move into that place of creating your own funnel to grow your business, then reach out to me by messenger and I will flick that across to you with lots of love. And I'm gonna go while it's still quiet to enjoy, the, just listen to the piece. There's no chill. There's no children. <laughs> it's beautiful. So I'm going to go enjoy, enjoy the peace. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye-bye.